What's up everyone? And welcome back to the channel for another 4K movie review. In today's movie, the 1998 slasher flick released in its 25th anniversary. I still know what you did last summer. After the success of the first movie, this movie was rushed into production and came out roughly a year after that first one did. And the quality definitely showed. The first movie was very good and it quickly cashed in on Scream, which came out nine or so months prior to that. But this one's just a money grab. I mean, it did have Jennifer Love Hewitt in it, which I had a major crush on her in the late 90s. I mean, who didn't? Check out this scene. This movie kind of gives slasher flicks in the horror genre a bad name. It lives by the jump scare, and most of them fell flat. There aren't many redeemable aspects of this movie outside of Jennifer Love Hewitt, like I mentioned earlier, but there is Jack Black, and he was funny as hell as the resident of the island. In fact, I don't even think he was credited with a role in this movie. I guess they didn't want to be known for this movie. What's that say about it? But he was funny. Classic Jack Black. But we like Ben Willis though. And again, he's the main star as he seeks revenge, which has been going on since the last movie. Anyways, like I said, Ben Willis is back as the fisherman, seeking revenge for the kids leaving him for dead in the first movie. Julie is in Boston attending school with her friend Carla, AKA Brandy, and they end up winning a trip to Bahamas for guessing the capital of Brazil wrong. Carla's boyfriend, played by Mackay Pfeiffer, and Will Benson go on the trip because Fred Prince Jr.'s character shuns Julie's offer, but then later shows up. While there, the fisherman hunts everyone down as he usually does. Outside of the hotel manager and Jack Black, everyone on the island is pretty much a throwaway character. The creepy hotel manager was pretty funny though, in a twisted way. I felt like he was trying to channel some Jim Carrey vibes. Picture was pretty good, as always, for these older film upgrades. Blacks looked good, and the colors popped, especially the day scenes. It was presented in Dolby Vision and HDR. <laughs> Sound was presented in 7.1 Dolby Atmos that sounded great, even if the attempted scares didn't even get you to budge. Dialogue was direct and precise in all speakers, were engaged equally. For special features, unfortunately, you have to watch both discs, the 4K and the Blu-ray. On the 4K disc, commentary with a director, Danny Cannon, and also a documentary, or an interview for that matter, with Muse Watson. He played the fisherman. It's called, He Still Knows What You Did. On the Blu-ray disc, there's a making of featurette, a music video by the one and only Jennifer Love Hewitt. Eh. And a trailer. Not that bad. I mean, there's some stuff. What are you going to do? I would say that unless you have a thing for the 1990s Jennifer Love Hewitt, I would pass on this movie. It's just a streamer. The first movie was good, but... Not this one, but I bought it because of Love Hewitt. Well, that's it for today's review. Come back again for some more 4K movie reviews. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share, bruh.